go. Who wants? We should go? Okay, we're going. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you, eh? Give me my phone. Thank you. Number one lifestyle station, 11 minutes gone past the top of the hour of 4 p.m. And sister Yemi Alade is in the building. Hallelujah. Hey, welcome to the show, Yemi. How are you? Thank you, my darling. I am fine. I am doing very well. Mm -hmm. And I feel beautiful just sitting um, right here next to you. Aww. And to be sincere, I almost wore this exact pair of earrings. Oh, no, you I, don't, I mean I still have. Ah, we would be twinning today. Yeah. Yemi is my twin sister, by the way. We're twinning with the hair right now. That's yeah. it. Even even with the look, like almost the same kind of twirling dress. Kind of dress paired you know? with, with sneakers. Ah. Ah. We are dope. You elbow. Take, take, take. Mm, mm, chop elbow. Social distancing, oh, ladies you. and gentlemen. By the time this video surface is online on YouTube, don't worry, you see us, we're protecting ourselves. <laughs> but right now, if you want to watch us live in the studio, feel free. Yemi Alade is in the building. Hallelujah. That's what's up. And we are live on Instagram as well at CITY1051. The Empress, Yemi, I had to like, you know, look this good for today just because of you. Um, so thank you, my darling. Make way, the Empress. Is thank you, and you actually do look She's in amazing. The thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank I really love. I think I think brown is like one of your colors. It is one of my favorite colors. You it know? is. It is. It oh. is because I feel like it helps your skin oh, as a lady. Let me see. I should you start pop. trying this. Brown. You pop. Look at me. I'm giving you my lifestyle tips already. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. If you wear brown, your color is gonna pop some more. Oh, yeah. Because if you have this shade, like you, you always have the yeah. same shade. Yeah. yeah. As I do. Yeah. Or as I have. So yeah. So you should try wearing brown too once in a while. Okay, man, no bit. Okay, but aside aside is brown. Yeah, I mean, what are your favorite colors? This interview has begun. All right. Um, my favorite colors. I love red and white. Mm. And I think yellow and pink are nice. Look, see, I'm going to start calling all the colors that there is. <laughs> I have that thing. I love colors. Oh, you do? I do love colors. Okay. Talking about colors, I noticed, yeah, all the time when we talk about your albums that you've had over the yeah. years. Um, I, I could mention a few. The Woman of Steel, there was a touch of black and gold. Yeah. And um, I think the Mama Africa as well, there was a touch of black and gold. And now, the new album, we drops tomorrow. Congratulations. Thank you. Listen, I'm already excited because I have this feeling the album is going to do so yes. well. Yes. So, you know Empress this. album drops tomorrow officially, but Yemi Alade is kind enough to share some songs of it. Yay! All the way today. Yemi, what was the process behind it? Before you tell me, and why did you tease us for so long, dropping alphabets and making people think your album is NSAS? Because I saw E, and I saw R. I thought it was NSAS, but I saw Empress. Like, what did happen? How did yeah, all the concept now come for you. Mama, you know this thing. So you're in that category too. Ah, I'm there. Me say my time, NSAS. <laughs> Someone said, oh, is it NSWAT? I changed it. I said, uh -huh. I saw S somewhere. Maybe it's NSWAT. Oh, my day. So, yeah, I mean, what, what was the concept behind it? How did you come up with the Empress album? And then we'll talk about NSAS in a bit as well. Okay, so all tell right. me, tell me, what's up? Um. Okay, so... That wasn't the, the, the idea. I just thought people would think of anything. And, and to be sincere, Ensas is an interesting title. <laughs> but my album already had a title. Um, so we set up in February with a team of Nigerian artists, um, Nigerian producers, and we went to Amsterdam okay. to record my album. Hi. And if you listen to the album, you, you would think that it's produced by Africans. But it turns out that... About eighty percent of the album was produced by Dutch people. No way. Dutch no. producers. No yes. Way. Af no Afrobeat has really travelled. Unfortunately, as yes, at that time the, the COVID nineteen was pretty much spreading but just very very slowly. I think as at the time we had started recording the first case of um um COVID nineteen had been discovered in Nigeria. Okay. Just one person as okay. that thing. And then we had to cut my trip short and then we came back to Niger and we've just been trying to 
cross our teeth, dot our eyes, trying to be alive. And we decided, you know, let this album just come out. Hmm. I think that this album was recorded in 2020. It should be out in 2020. Because as much as a lot of things have been stopped, I don't think music should stop. True that. Yeah. True that. In fact, the public, everybody's of the opinion that 2020, a lot of Nigerian artists, even people abroad, like in the diaspora, did good music for mm. this year. And you're on the list. You like it or not? So let's get the answers out of the way. There was a uh, there was a headline that was trending that yourself, when Jazzy T was savage, y'all were pulled in by the government and asked questions or told not to, you know, talk about some certain issues regarding Nigeria. Was that ever true? That is false, and I appreciate that you asked me um, in person because that is false. A lot of people believe a lot of things, you know, just like that without even asking the source. That is. 100% false. Okay. Well, you're still vocal, by the way. Does this seem like I'm mute? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we talked a lot about it, but, but what do you really want at the end of the day as regards the whole NSAS um, issue that happened in Nigeria? Like, you saw the protests, definitely. You were very vocal. Everybody was vocal. Everybody talked about it. But what is that ultimate thing that you want at the end of the day? Like, it's come, it hasn't gone. People are still talking about it. What is the ultimate thing that you want? at the end of the day for Nigeria and the Nigerian youths and the government and all. I think it's unfair to um, think of the NSAS um, um, agenda without remembering why it started. It started off because people were of the mindset that there is need for police reform True. and they needed to end police brutality. And so a lot of people, if not 99% of the entire Nigerians are affected by such things and they decided to come out to speak. And even when the NSAS protest had like a five, um, an, a five number agenda, it was basically towards reforming the police. Nothing about even the average man. Yes, Nothing like, oh, make me reach out, make me go or, go or do our roads or give us lies. You know, the main thing was about the police. That was the only thing that... Just wanted one thing. We just wanted security. Like, we know the country's had enough... But let's at least be alive to suffer the suffering. You know, that's what I think it was all about. But unfortunately, it turns out to be that these days the media um, has put out a, a lot of coverage of things that are happening and they are labeling it against NSAS. My wish and my prayer is that the truth will prevail and that the people in uh, occupying the seats of governance will look beyond their bubble. Mm -hmm. and like really try to serve the people to serve someone you must know their needs sure that sure and that. When, when they let you know your, their needs you need to humbly take it and work on it you know like to the government officials are supposed to be like servants for the people not a servant is not a bad position it just it's means not. to offer you're a leader. help once you're a leader you're meant to serve exactly. the people exactly so yeah that's that's just all i think i believe that at this point where we are in nigeria I pray that the truth, the truth will eventually um, be out there, be out, and, out that, and set us free. You know exactly, and and everyone can be liberated. There's so much going on in the country. Oh, you see, we had to get that out of the way so the fun parts and you playing and us having fun continues. Okay, Yemi. Tell the government. Aye. Alrighty. This is City 1051 FM, your number one lifestyle station. The show is The Rundown. My name is VN007. I've got sister Yemi Alade. I have to put the sister behind me. Oh, wow. Because we go way back, Yemi. I've known you okay. all my okay. life. Okay, okay. You when see, you say it that way. If I mention my radio career, I must talk about a Yemi Alade. You're always oh coming through. Like, I have an interview. Yemi is like, okay, VN, new album. We're coming. I'm like, yeah. Yo, babe, we got a show. We got a show. Talking Girl about power. you showing up, Yemi. Yes. True love. Have you found true love? True love. Have yes. you found it? I am made up of 100% true love. Okay. Yes, I have enough to give. Okay. And I have enough to keep. Okay. And 2020, I have kept a lot for myself. Hey. Yes. Okay, I should be like you from next week. <laughs> true love. Did you realize that this 2020, we all, the restrictions here and there, that the most important thing that every human being actually needed aside health, good health, mm -hmm. is genuine and true happiness. True that. And true love is wrapped around that happiness. True. Even the song itself is wrapped around happiness, mm. you know? So I have enough to give. Girl, we're going to play that song where we come back after a quick commercial break and then get the public to also participate. Send in your questions for Yemi and Lade right now, okay? On Twitter at City1051, at Yemi Alade. 
and at VN007. We'll be back. This is the rundown. Stay with the city. <laughs> I'm playing with this gift card. So many okay, what is that? Bill. I haven't seen it before. Uh, it's a gift card I won. In, so in, in the Zenith Better Life Promo. Zenith Better Life Promo. Hey, thank you. Figured out, Yemi just wished you a happy birthday. Touchdown. Oh, yeah, it's recording already. Right? Oh, yeah. Outro time. Yemi. The Empress is here. Hey. Our brother, yeah? Yemi, our brother. <laughs> 